Well, hello there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I have a super easy and beautiful watercolor card for you today for the Ellen Hudson new release blog hop. Before I get started on my card, I wanna show you some other things, which is the rest of the new release. Ellen has these new nested dies, and they each make a frame. So the frame looks about like that. So you can use the frame, you can use the inside, you can use the outside, lots of different ways you can use these. They come in all different shapes. Hallelujah, so glad to have these. And there's even hexagons. I'm gonna have to come up with something to do with those. You know I am. And there's this box. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I'm sure someone else in this blog hop will have used the box. There's an OMG, how great is that gonna be on a card? More sentiments, because Ellen has lots and lots of great sentiments. And this one's supposed to go with the succulent set that you'll see later on, as well as, of course, in my, my card that I'm making. There's a couple of background graphics, some stripes, and this lovely pinwheel, which will be fun. Now, I made cards out of the rest of these stamps, just to show you. And this is a cute little hot dog. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. You could decorate the sweaters. You could put hot dogs on the on the little dogs. And mine, I just love the fact that they're sniffing butts because my dog does that all the time. This little lion, it's called a Bravehearted is the name of the stamp. And there's a, an, a kind of screaming lion with his mouth open, as well as the uh, lion that I painted. And they're really going to be fun to make cards with. Of course, has dyes. Everything always does nowadays. And then the circus set. If you saw Ellen's channel the other day, I did a video showing these three cards using the Life is a Circus set. And so I'll link you to that one at the end of this one if you want to go see how I made these. They're a lot of fun. Colored pencil, using the, the stamp set in different ways to give you new ideas on what you can do with these new sets and how to create that extra swing, etc., etc. And there's also a little circus wagon that goes with these. I have not had a chance to play with that either and I'm excited to. And now we come to the succulents. There's this set that has small succulents and then the Mondo. I love the Mondo stamps. I'm a sucker for these. And I tried this one in a couple different ways. The one on the left, I painted it a little more literally because it's, it's got that circular pot. And then I did this thing that I just was so tickled with how it came out. So I'm really glad I had the camera on because I might need to go back and look at this again. So I remember what I did. I have embossed the stamp in white first on my Arches watercolor paper, and then just started dropping in colors. Now that greenish color, that bluish green on the outside that's really wet, that's actually my paint water. I was painting with a phthalo green, so my watercolor is just really weird in its color, but it was really gorgeous. I'm showing you the side angle because I want you to see how much water is there to make these blending effects happen. I started throwing in into this, in addition to the serpentine green and the sap green, I started throwing in blues. There's a little bit of French ultramarine blue and there's some perylene green and, and you can play with all different kinds of colors doing this. The key to making this really fun, I think, was the fact that I didn't color the whole thing. There is a, a round pot there, as you saw on the other card, but I didn't color the pot. I just put dark colors into some of the flowers themselves, into the, some of the, the succulents. And then for fun, I threw in some Aussie red gold, just dropped in a few places here and there, and then just let it dry. I didn't fill the whole page with color, I just let it dry. Well, okay, I didn't completely let it dry. The, Aussie red gold scared me a little bit, so I did dab off some. So you can do a little bit of that, but it's really better if you just let it dry. Don't fuss with it. And let the paint just do what it wants to. Isn't that beautiful? And it was so easy. It literally took as long as you saw. I didn't cut anything out. That's how quick it is. So there are my two succulent cards. Again, the one on the left painted much more literally with the pot, and the one on the right with just throwing color in and letting it be a beautiful kind of graphical design. So these are cards I've made so far. If I make any before the release, I'm going to add them to my blog. And of course, 
with blog hops, there's always a giveaway. So go check that out. Even if you only leave a comment on mine, you never know. You might win just from that one. And I will see you again very, very soon. Go see the whole release. It's really fun. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.